Hello and welcome. Welcome friends, welcome family, all you beautiful souls and you lovely humans. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I'm Olivia and this is Tarot and Coffee with Olivia and we're going to do your pick a card, your tarot cards today. So hang in there with me. This is going to be fun. Um, I do like to pretend like you're actually here and I actually feel like you are. So do go and get your favorite beverage. Let's pretend like I had it waiting for you and we're here to get started. So if you need to pause the video to go get your comfy, cozy drink, go ahead and do that and um, come on back when you're ready. Also, also, let's do a little housekeeping here. What does that mean? It means I'm just going to say all the stuff I need to say. Um, <laughs> first, I'm going to have a little sip of coffee. Mm, that is delicious coffee. Wonderful. Okay, so what do you need to know? It's easy to do. So you just follow along with the video. The card toppers correspond font of time stamps in the description below so you can choose one pile you can choose a few piles or you can choose all the piles I do encourage you to go to the end even if you just choose one pile go to the end where we do a final culmination and kind of like the icing on a cake or the bow on the present we're going to add an extra magical times card here at the end for you guys today. We look for a common theme at the end. So I'll have that timestamp in the description also. Um, but like I said, it's fun to pick all the cards and you get just all, anyway, you do you, you do what you wanna do. Do you remember these are general readings? So take what resonates with you and leave the rest, okay? So don't make life altering choices or decisions based on this or any other video, pick a card. And you can connect with me um, my information is in the information box. All right. So just look me up and we can, you can figure out how to do a private reading with me. Cause I am doing that at this time. Um, what else do we need to know? What else do I need to say? Oh yeah. 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 If you like this video, give me that thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you want to find me again, or if you want to know when I'm uploading videos, do share this video with someone you think will like it. But most important of all, come back. That's what I really want is for you to come back because that is really, truly the most important of all. Let's look at the card toppers up close and then we'll go ahead and get started. So we have the honey citrine. Um, I believe this is a fluorite. And uh, then we have our how our magical how light of many faces. This is the little Buddha face, Buddha face. Let's see if we can see another face real quick. There's a face. You can see it, right? Kind of a funny face. Anyway, I just love that. Um, and then we have a little small piece of, let's see if I can get a good focus on that. Um, chalcopyrite or chalcopyrite. It's basically copper ore. And it does have a real sparkly effect. I'm not sure what the camera can catch though, so. Hopefully you can see the beauty in this stone. It's kind of hard to see sometimes. But anyway, I'm going to have another sip of coffee. Then we're going to get started with pile number one mm, with the honey citrine. So let's go ahead and look and see what you have. If you picked the honey citrine, you have the two of swords, the queen of cups, and the Four of Swords, Four of Wands, sorry, the Four of Wands. This is our Light Seer's Tarot deck. Each of you are getting three tarot cards, plus we're going to use a Moonology Oracle card. And your Moonology card is New Moon and Gemini, where communication is key. So let's lay these out and take a look at them. And I will tell you what you, I will read you your fortune. All right. What do we have here? Okay, the Two of Swords is you examining things, thinking about things, finding balance, um, especially when it comes to what we're talking about. And we're talking about communication. Who are we communicating with? We're communicating with loved ones and community. This is this is our foundation. This is a foundation card. It's about your intention and what you want. Um, it's also about community and your connection to community, meaning family, friends, and neighbors, those around us. Okay. Um, 
with the Queen of Cups card, this is about your emotion. This is about opening your heart and letting people know your true heart, okay? So the Queen of Cups is here saying, rule with love. Rule your world with love. And your world, you're finding balance in your world, okay? You're making good choices. And you're communicating with your community, helping out, you're building your foundation. Um, basically, what your fortune is today is success. Um, it's saying that you are going to be making the right choices. You're thinking about the choices. You're finding balance. You're using love to communicate and to move forward in your community and success. And with that with that love, you're, communi you're communicating with love, okay? Um, the new moon is about new beginnings. Um, and with Gemini and the Two of Swords, I want to let you know that you probably have more than one choice, maybe even more than a couple of choices, all right? But if you make that choice, if you temper it with love, and if you ask your communi community what they think about it, you're going to be nothing but successful, okay? So, communicate with love, and you will move forward in success within your community. All right, that's what we have for you today. That's pretty exciting. Let's go ahead and see what we have under the fluorite. All right. Let's put that here and pick up your cards. Okay. Oh, yes. All right. So you have the Queen of Pentacles. She is a very healing entity. She's also successful. Um, very successful, especially when it comes to um, career. Um, the Hermit. And we know about the Hermit. This person is someone who... Um, sometimes spends a little too much time away from the world, but in so doing gets clarity and peace. Um, basically, let's, well, well, let's put it, we'll put them together in the end. So that's the hermit. And then you have prosperity lies ahead, new moon and Taurus. So this looks again, oh, and the magician. So your reading today is really talking about success when it comes to possibly career, possibly um, money, but it's saying that you're, that you're going about it all different ways. Like you are being very creative about how you are coming forth. It looks like you are not only um, being successful and prosperous in business, but also in health, in body and mind as well. Um, it does look like with um, the Queen of Pentacles, I would say that what you have going forth is just take the time that you need for yourself, okay, to think about things, to maybe even meditate, and don't feel guilty about needing that time for yourself, because it takes that kind of time to work magic. And with the magician, that's what you're going to be doing. Now, what I mean by that is you may be manifesting. You may be manifesting health. You may, may be manifesting a job. You may be manifesting a chunk of change. But also, you're going about things in unconventional ways. Um, you're being very resourceful. You're maybe doing something a little bit different than what somebody else might have done in that case, but you're going to find yourself in a good place in so doing. So that is your little reading today, and that looks really positive. It looks very similar to this one, but I will say the differences are is this one has more to do with health. It has more to do with um money and career, wherein this one has more to do with relationships and family and love, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and we'll go to the highlight of many faces. Here's another little face he has. There it is. Whoa. <laughs> okay, let's see what you have if you picked that cute little highlight. 
we'll see what cards you have. And you have the infinity symbol on top. All right. Nine of Wands. Good. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. The Three of Swords. Okay. All right. So, um, this is awful and sad. It is a broken heart. I mean, there's no way around that. I see the pain and suffering, and so do you. This has to do, well... Let's let's see what else you have. A personal issue reaches resolution. So this is a very specific card. This is a very specific reading. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and lay it down so you can see. And I'm going to tell you what this what 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 are we talking about here? We're talking about this personal issue. This personal issue has caused a lot of trauma, a lot of heartbreak. It is something that has uh, that's kind of got you going, right? Okay. Now, what we're saying is not only is this uh, is this situation going to reach a resolution, but you have the energy, and you're you're actually moving towards um, reaching this resolution. Um, whether it be now, here's the thing. There's a lot going on here with the nine of rods. What I want to say is that. There are people that have your back, okay? You're backed up on this, whatever we're talking about. Um, your truth, all right? Your energy. You're doing the right things. You are moving towards, within this relationship, this broken, whatever broke your heart, whatever it is that has you really messed up over this right now, things are coming around, all right? Your good karma is coming back for you. This is good, all right? So basically what this is, is it's telling you you have the strength to make it through this part of your life, as difficult as it's been. You have the strength. You have, people have your back, all right? You're doing the right thing. You're going in the right direction. There will be resolution met. You might kind of go about it indirectly this resolution and that's coming from the full moon in cancer because those crabs they sometimes scuttle around sideways <laughs> so we're talking about indirectness here but you don't have to take that to heart like i said take what you need and what works for you and leave the rest but basically this is saying that an acknowledgement of your pain but letting you know that you will make it through this and you will make it through on top, okay? All right, let's look under our Calcopyrite and let's see what we have here. The Two of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles. Oh, wow, isn't he handsome? The King of Wands. Now, the cool thing about the King of Wands, one of the things I really, oh, and you have... A win-win outcome is forecast. Now, this too, this reading also may have to do with a career, job, um, or and and choices. It looks like you are finding your balance, making choices, especially when it comes to money and career. And one of the choices that you are making here is to give and receive generosity. Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles here that is, and the King of, and the King of Wands here. The King of Wands is the king that will get down off of his horse and work side by side with his people. Okay, so I see a lot of generosity happening here, but in your generosity, you're receiving as well. You're getting back. Um, with the two of, two of Pentacles, you are finding your balance and you are winning, all right? So with the King of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, it seems like you're doing okay, right? But things are getting even better. And we're talking about financially and energetically, okay? So let's put it all together. What do we have here? We have, oh, you know, another thing I wanna say about this card is it could be about giving, but it could also be about receiving. And I want you to know that receiving a gift is just as important as giving a gift, okay? Um, because if there wasn't someone willing to receive, 
then the person giving would not have the blessing, would not be able to receive the blessing of, of giving. So don't be shy, accept those gifts, and don't be shy and give those gifts. Okay, so we have generosity. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Wheel of Fortune coming around. We have winning happening. We have Spirit has your back, and you also have other energies behind you, people and energies that love and care about you and that are helping you through this difficult time of heartbreak. You are finding healing. That healing is coming through for you. Oh, my goodness. Isn't this beautiful? Okay, um, resolution will happen with, with this. So we have winning res resolution. The next one, we have prosperity. This is very positive. We have, we, have two, we have several twos here about people finding their balance, making the right choices. Um, we have the queen of cups that is moving things along um, with love in her heart, communicating with love. Involving community, friends, family, and manifesting destiny. Wow. All right. So that's that's what we have all together. So if you chose all of these, that's what we're saying. We're saying that you're moving forward in order to succeed. And the heartache that you have been experiencing is on its way out. Enjoy your community. Enjoy, enjoy prosperity. I'm going to have another sip of coffee. And here we are. Oh, I was going to add the icing on the cake, right? Mm, the bow on the present. Let's get a Magical Times card to just kind of cinch this all together. Even though it's already a lovely reading, I think it'll be interesting to see. One more message here. Dance. Oh, this is wonderful. Find your heart's rhythm. Step lightly and swing with the melody. Close your eyes and let joy lead the way. <clears throat> Dance then, wherever you may be. I am the king of the dance, said he. What's um? Oh, oh, let's dance. I'm thinking of David Bowie, too. I mean, this is just gorgeous. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Um... I don't have anything else to say except that I love and care about you and I can't wait for you to come back. I'm very excited to see you again next time. Mwah!